All right. We have already, the wife has already made four gallons of sauce. We have three different varieties of tomatoes here. We have the uh, beef steak, the plum, and some celebrities. And this is just a, a messy table full of tomatoes. So, <laughs> And we got a zillion more outside. I'll show that. If I get out there, it's 90 degrees. I'll show how many more are growing, turning red, or just growing. There's a lot. A lot more sauce coming. Now we take some uh, tomatoes, not too many of them, that'll fit in the strainer here, put them into boiling water, and we got a lot left on the table, a lot left on the plant. Now. So she's going to blanch these and then put them in an ice bath. We have an ice bath on a cupboard over here, and uh, then the peels come right off. You peel them and she's going to bag them and put them in the freezer as a, oh, as a staple. It won't be spaghetti sauce, they'll be ready for all kinds of projects like chili soups. Uh, my favorite, which I can't remember the name, goulash. <laughs> I remember the name right at the end. So yeah, we got so many tomatoes. Pound-wise, I couldn't tell you, but she did four, uh, four gallons of sauce already. So, and we got a ton more on the plant. I'll show those. And just like that, after sitting in the water for about three minutes, two, three minutes, a lot of them will uh, squeeze right out. Or you just slice them with the knife and squeeze them out. They pop out like a plum. And they'll put them in a bag and freeze them. And then we just divvy them up in regular uh, Ziploc bags here. That one's fuller than the other one. And we put them in the freezer. And these are just uh, regular to... Uh, ready to make whatever you want to make with them and we'll repeat this every day again for the next two weeks <laughs> unfortunately the wife's shaking her head and she's shaking her fist at me third picking we're going to get some more off of here the wife's going to be picking them you got tomatoes coming out the yin yang some are, some are red some aren't tons of them here that's just on this side and then over here, we're doing good on the grapes. You got them all in the gonzo, margonzo bags, whatever they're called. They're doing good. <laughs> over here, hops and more tomatoes. My God. More tomatoes down that roll. Tomato, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, buckets full of tomatoes, all the way down the line here. Tomato, 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 tomato. They're coming in like crazy. We're gonna have sauce. So much sauce we're freezing. Absolutely insane. We won't do that again this year. Next year. Phew. And the hops, they're just a tangled mess this year. We decided not to grow as many, just let them grow naturally. Oh, I want so another know. picking of the tomatoes. We're going to be, uh, or I should say the wife is, processing them into uh, to the bag so we get them in the freezer. Some more pickings we did, and there's a lot more out there. This is like the third picking. And uh, the batches, we're going to process about six to seven pounds today. And get them in the freezer. Yeah, whatever. This is the third pick, and I said there's another 10 million, 10 million out there. So <laughs> this batch is coming out of the the boiling water, going to the ice bath, and she'll peel these, and we'll go in the bag shortly. You'll be in the freezer. I might not show it because we got so many tomatoes, and eventually going to go into into a, a nice goulash. Why wouldn't they? Once we get them into the ice bath, we take them to the table <clears throat> and we're going to pick their skins off <laughs> one by one. And I save the skins and I press the juice out of them and put the juice into the bag. And one, one, two, three, off we go. One. And we have dispatched right around seven pounds of tomatoes. 
That big fat guy is in here too, the giant tomato. This one, not this one, I don't know where he went. But we had some really nice plums pop out of this. How long does it take to get them off the... Oh. Pretty easy once you get out of the ice bath. Oh yeah, you just pop them open and they strip right out. Look at that. Oh, look at that. So this will be going to the freezer shortly. Yep. And we got so many more to go. Yep, this will make two big bags. Are you saving the skins for what? I press the juice out oh, of them. Oh, just to get the rest of the juice. And then I pour it into the bag with a little salt. Tomatoes in the bag. I'm going to try and make it pretty even. And you pour in half the juice that you got from the skins. And you switch to the next bag. Put the tomatoes in. You can use uh, vacuum yeah. seal bags, but it's not necessary. Oh, these Ziploc ones work great. I mean, if you use that for the tomatoes, yeah. pretty fast in different meals. And usually, like a half, when you fill these bags halfway, they lay flat nice in the freezer, freeze real well, and then they're easy to put into a pot to turn it into sauce. Then you divide this juice in half, half for you, half for you. And we're showing out the one window here where we're banging the tomatoes, and you can see. All our tomato plants are in buckets here, the majority of them, and there's some way in the back along the deck, and you can see the hops growing there, and then way down to the right to the fence, there's another 15 plants down there. So we got a lot more tomatoes are coming. Why wouldn't we? Why should we? Oh my God, help me. <laughs> 